Hello everybody, Dmar Gmar here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we took on Team Rocket in their totally not suspicious Mahogany Town base. And believe it or not, even though we took care of them already, they actually left the sign out still, so it still has the funny sign of just a souvenir shop. Nothing suspicious about it. No need to be alarmed. Even though we already cracked the case. That's kind of funny. <laughs> But that being said, now that we've taken care of Team Rocket, the Mahogany Town Gym has actually opened up once again, and we can go ahead and take that on if we so wanted. However, there's a bit of business we want to take care of beforehand, and it's not something required. In fact, most of you people probably won't even have to do this during your entire playthrough of this game if you're playing along with me, because we're doing something in the Pokemon Center today. And I've been waiting on doing this for quite some time. I wanted to find the right time to do it, and I think now is probably the best time we can. Or not the best time, but the time I want to anyways. Because believe it or not, we're not messing around with the bottom floor today. Oh, no, no, no. We're messing around with the top floor today. The multiplayer floor of the Pokemon Center. Because believe it or not, before we held this randy, fangy, uh, fancy technology that we have today, we actually did multiplayer in a different way. We had two different rooms. We had the Union Room and we had the Battle Room. And I know that the, the Generation 4 remix kind of brought these back, so I know what I'm saying now is kind of contradictory, but shh. <laughs> And believe it or not, today we're actually going to be going over here to the trade room. Because believe it or not, there's actually something we want to trade away. And uh, more about that in just a little bit. I don't want to spoil the surprise quite yet if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm sure most of you people already know if you play Pokemon for a while. And in fact, I'm already leaving a hint to what we're doing today on screen this entire opening. So uh, maybe you guys figured it out already. But anyways. So this here is the Pokemon Club Union Room. And by going in here, we can interact with other trainers. And this is how you were used to do trading and whatnot. So we're going to go into here, it'll launch the DS communication so we can find people, save the game, because you have to save your game before going into here, which makes me very nervous because if I mess anything up on this recording, I can't redo it, so uh, hopefully this is going good. Or else I will cry. And by doing that, we can go into the Union Room. And you can't see it right now, but I also have another DS with me, which will be, I'll, I'll leave a photo in the video so you guys can see what I'm doing here. But I actually have two DSs here, and we are actually doing a bit of a trade here, and Hopefully it'll show up in just a second here, but how this works is that when you're in your union room You'll have other people nearby show up in your union room and you want to go over there and talk to them They won't show up as their in-game characters. They'll show up as NPCs though And by doing this we'll actually have ourselves be able to talk to the other trainer Hello Hello, it's Zachary. Would you like to do something? And as you can see here we have a bunch of options we can do here We can do a greet, we can do drawing, we can battle each other, we can trade, we can do records, we can do spin And there's a ton of things you can do here. However, since we're basically on our own here we're going to be focusing on what I'm actually here to do, and that is trade. And we want to accept this over on our Platinum Copy. And here we go, we're going to begin a trade over here. And like I said, I'm actually doing this with my Platinum Copy. So as you're going to be able to see, there are some Pokemon here that are definitely not uh, normal to see within the uh, Johto region, as you can see. And because I feel like it, we're going to trade over Ryan Time, baby! And we are going to be trading over on our side, our haunts are over here. And you may be wondering, why exactly are we doing this? Well, the reason for that is because by doing this, we're going to actually be activating... Sorry, that was just going to grab, to grabbing something. Uh, we're going to be actually activating something that is unique to some Pokemon known as Trade Evolution. And you can only evolve these Pokemon via trade. And Haunter is actually one of these Pokemon. So believe it or not, for those who are used to Pokemon expecting me to not have ourselves an evolved Pokemon... For this, like, for this let's play, we're actually going to be having our Haunter Evolve right now. Click yes on both systems, and let the trade begin. And away he goes. It's okay, he'll be back in like five seconds. Just like that, our Haunter has been traded over and we gotta bash it on return. Isn't that cool? However, over here on our other screen... What? Haunter is evolving! And there we go! Look at that, our Haunter is now a Gengar. How cool is that? Pretty neat. 
there you have it. I was a little bit... The thing I was mostly worried about when recording this is I only have one free as captain card, so recording the evolution was going to be very tricky. However, I think this is the best way I could have done it. It's not the most professional way, but I think it's the best way I could have done it with one capture card in mind. And just like that, as you can see, our good old Haunter has now become a Gengar. And even though it would be cool to keep it in my platinum copy, I kind of want it back, so uh, let's just go ahead and trade it. And there you go, just like that. Our hunters become a Gengar. It was a very awkward thing because this is a evolution method that like is very unorthodox and most Pokemon don't have it. It's a very few select Pokemon that have to evolve through trading. But I freaking love Gengar and I love Haunter and I love basically the entire family line and I really wanted to evolve my Pokemon so this was kind of the best way I could figure out how to do it. And I apologize like I said if it's not the highest quality and there's definitely like better methods of recording this with two capture cards but I only have one and yeah I wasn't gonna wait like a whole month to get a second capture card just to do a single trade evolution but i'm sure you guys can understand that and there you go zachary has sent over gengar thank you me no problem me <laughs> and just like that our hunters now fully evolved and back on the team in like the span of two minutes isn't that cool and it's also kind of cool because it gets us we get to show off kind of like what union room is like and not a lot of that's let's plays actually do this so i'm kind of proud of myself or at least, I hope you guys enjoyed it at the very least. That being said, though, off we go. And uh, I'm, hoping, I'm, I'm hoping you guys appreciate the nicknames over here on my, my Platinum team. Most of them are references to some sort of character. So if you guys can figure that out, have fun with that. <laughs> there you go. And just like that, uh, no thank you. I'm good me. We're all done here. Goodbye, other me. It's been a good, it's been a good time. And there you go, just like that, our hunter has evolved. And here he is, isn't he beautiful? Uh, apparently he's very tired. You know, if I flew from a, a whole DS to another DS, I'd be tired too. And since we just came back, we may as well heal up our Pokemon before we go take on this gym. Because believe it or not, we're not just doing a trading today, we're also going to be taking on this Pokemon gym while we're at it. Because, you know, why not? Not the Pokemon, why not? You know, the, the expression, why not? <laughs> yeah, bad, bad, bad dad joke aside, uh, let's get going. So at this point here, let's take a quick look at our team here. Let's take a look at our new Haunter before we head on out. Now, the reason why I was waiting so long to evolve our Gengar, even though I could have evolved it pretty much any time after I evolved into a Ghastly, is simply because Gengar is an extremely powerful Pokemon. It is very fast, hits like an absolute truck. Unfortunately, my nature lowers my special attack, so it's not going to hit as hard as it should. But it's still a Choice Specs Gengar. It has Shadow Ball already. Like, this Gengar is going to be an absolute monster to deal with from our enemies. So I kind of wanted to wait a little bit of time just so I didn't have it too early and I'd just massacre everything. But now that we have Gengar on the team, I'm going to be using it as much as I want. Because Gengar is quite literally my favorite Pokemon of all time. So I'm very happy to have it on our team now. Alright, mouthful aside. Hogney Town, your true terror has come. The Gengar has been unleashed. Let's go ahead and take on our 7th gym over here. This is the Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym. The leader is Price. The teacher of Winter's Harshness. Also known as the gym leader with the worst episode name of all time. Because if you guys know what episode I'm talking about, uh, it was, uh, interesting, let's say the least. <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. And believe it or not, as you can probably expect, this is actually an Ice-type Pokemon gym. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years, and you'll find his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep a hot fighting spirit against ice. Uh, it's good to know that you really believe in me, buddy. Good to know. <laughs> so if it isn't obvious already, this guy is an Ice-type gym leader, and for those who need a refresher, Ice-type Pokemon are very strong against on the offensive, with Ice-type is being very powerful overall. However, Ice-type is possibly the worst defensive typing in the entirety of the game, being weak to a ton of types, including Fighting, Fire, Rock, uh, Steel, it gets really bad, there's a lot of weaknesses to this thing, so there's a very good chance you have something to take on Ice-types on your team already. And as you can see from the gym's puzzle, it's mostly just ice skating and pushing ice blocks around. So, kind of similar to some other ice-type gyms. Well, of course, this was the first ice-type gym, so, you know, it's the original, so you can't call it a copycat. We got some trainers over here, too. And you know what? Since we just got Gengar, let's have a little bit of, Let's have some fun. Use him as a slippery four. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not here playing games here. Oh, the irony in that sentence. And no, it is not fun. I live in Canada, okay? I've had enough of winter already. I have been slipping on the road all this time. It's only been like, a, a, we're basically halfway through winter at this point in Canada, but like, it has not been fun. I cannot wait for spring. I, I, don't, I don't get people who like winter, okay? I know I have it worse because I'm in Canada, so like, I probably think even worse of winter than what it actually is, but like, it is the freaking worst. 
being in Canada during winter. You slip and slide all over the slush, you can freaking get buried in snow when you're trying to walk through places. It's freaking awful. But enough negativity, let's talk about this cute Pokemon here. This here is a Swinub, and this is a Gen 2 Ice-type Pokemon. And I actually love a Swinub a lot. This thing is adorable. As it's going to use Endure, which is the only reason it's going to live this. But yeah, Swinub is freaking cute, and I love these things. And they're so adorable, and I want to snuggle one of them, have one of them as one of my pets. And look at this thing. He's just a cutie little boy. Unfortunately, though, being cute little boys does not save you from Shadow Balls. And we're gonna critically hit the add extra insult. Okay, the Gengar, calm down. <laughs> gonna hit level 28. And unfortunately, since we evolved, we. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, since we evolved into Gengar, we're not gonna get any new moves for a while. Because if you evolve a Pokemon, they tend to take longer to learn moves compared to their pre evolved forms. But make a liar out of me. We got a new move immediately. This here is Payback. It's a dark type move, and it does 50 damage. Uh, not 50 damage, 50 power. However, it will actually double in power if you take an attack first. Now, normally this can be kind of a cool move. Unfortunately, though, for Gengar, Gengar is a very fast Pokemon, so it's not really going to take damage before using Payback, so it's always going to be basically 50 power. And it's also a physical move, which Gengar does not really do, so yeah, we're not learning this for sure. Yeah, we're not learning Payback. It's kind of ironic, too, because I still have Curse on my Gengar. I normally Curse is one of the first moves I get rid of, but Curse was so useful in the early game for, the, for us that I kind of just kept it all this time. And even though this is Gengar's debut day and his new showcase, I don't want him to take all the spotlight, so let's see. Um, Actually, never mind. Gengar's kind of on level with everybody else. So you know what, Gengar? You can stay on the front. And, yeah. I don't... Th actually, no, we have to fight this strat. We need, we need to get through this, this ice puzzle. To get the price our gym, you need to think before you skate. We'll see about that. I will say that it's kind of cool all the like the train, all the train classes in here. You got like a bunch of skaters. That's what you usually see. Although I don't really know how you skate indoors. Like they're on the freaking ground. Nah, I'm not gonna question it. And as you can see here, even though Jinx has a lot of special defense, Gengar just absolutely demolished that. This is the reason why I kind of wanted to wait on having a Gengar for a while, because Gengar is insanely powerful. And keep in mind, this Gengar I have right here has a jolly nature. This thing is doing less damage than what it normally does. So, uh, yeah. You don't screw around Gengar, and I think I already messed up this puzzle. I did. Now, the good news is if you ever mess up a puzzle, you can actually leave the room and come back to it. So, like, you don't have to go for the exit of the gym and everything. You just leave the room and come back, and you'll be just fine. That being said, though, I actually haven't done this puzzle in a while, so I might mess this up a couple times. So, how do I want to do this, actually? Hmm. Oh, wow, that was easy. <laughs> wow, I feel stupid for even being stuck on that for a second. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> Brain fart. And we got some more snow butters over here, but I'm going to try to avoid them if I can. I think you can avoid one of the people here, not all of them, though. So, I'm going to go over here, go over here, here. Okay, yeah, we got the right way, I'm pretty sure. I know, press the secret. Are you gonna... That, 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 that's it? You're not gonna tell me? You're not gonna say anything? Okay, then. And this guy has a shelter. A goofy little guy. Look at him. Sticking his old tongue out. Unfortunately for him, though, uh, shelter has absolutely awful special defense, so this Shadow Vault is going to absolutely eviscerate it. Yeah. I know I'm definitely overkilling with the choice specs I have on Gengar, but like, come on, it's way too much fun. You have a million special attack. You have the most powerful Shadow Balls of all time. It's great. And here we have a Cloyster, which normally would be kind of a threat. However, this thing has also has awful special defense. So the Shadow Ball is going to eat you for breakfast, too. Yeah, so like I said, Gengar is a little powerful. Just a smidge. And he also has level 29, which is pretty cool. There you go. And finally, he has a seal. You know what, Gengar? You, you're going to kill everything in this game if I don't let everyone else have some fun. So I'm going to send out Sparta instead. You know, we got we to gotta share the, the experience over here. Go for seal. And as you can see, even though I was calling Team Rocket under level, we're actually kind of... I wouldn't say over level. We're not over level like, at all at the moment. But we're actually on hard levels once again. So even though, like I said, with Team Rocket being over under level, it's just them being really, really under level. It's not like we were like over leveled or anything we're actually like on par with the rest of the game it's just that this game's level leveling is so freaking weird at times sometimes it's super low sometimes it's super high it's all over the place it's freaking weird and i actually live that wow 
Ice Shard, which is a priority move, so it always goes first. In case you're wondering, it's not that Seal is faster than my version. Although that would be kind of a sight to see, a Seal being faster than a cat. There we go. Okay, I'll tell you a person's secret. Okay, I gotta hear this. Give me the gossip. The juicy gossip. The reason Price is strong is because every day he sits on top of a very cold ice and trains his body and spirits. Uh... If that's what it takes to be strong, I think I'll pass. I live in Canada. Actually, I take that back. I live in Canada. I should be super strong then. You know, I, I live in the cold. I am the polar bear. And as we can see, there's Price over there. So we're actually almost there already, but unfortunately, we still got a little bit of puzzling to figure out. And Sparty, you can take the lead for now. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, and I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Yeah, we got this. We just gotta go down, we gotta go to the right, and we should be good. Check out my parallel turn! Uh, lady, you're in the corner. Where are you going with that turn? Skier Jill has a Dugong! Aww. I think I have a soft spot for Dugong. I don't know, the Dugong's cute. Look at this thing. Look at this goofy little guy. If you haven't noticed, I kinda like the derpy Pokemon more than just like the pot. I don't know. I have a thing for like derpy Pokemon. But yeah, I think this dude was actually taking this like a champ. He's taking no damage from me whatsoever. Holy crap. However, unfortunately for you, I have the power of all cats. Screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> I should know. My I have a cat myself. Although ironically, my cat's actually pretty quiet. She doesn't really yell. As I miss. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm done being Mr. Nice Guy. Gone to get in here. We're gonna cry shot this thing. Because as I mentioned before, the ice type is weak to a lot of things, and that includes being chopped in half with a brick break. There's no ice shard, which is doing like no damage at all, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, and I'm at level 30, which is kind of cool. In fact, this is actually our first Pokemon who's gonna hit level 30, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna go for brick break. And that should seal the deal. I, I sincerely doubt it's gonna live a brick break. Get it? Seal the deal? Because it evolves from seal? Eh? Eh? Bad joke? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just rambling on at this point. And... And a crit! Okay, that was overkill as hell, but... Good work, Gonza. It's where it's level 29. Gonza hits level 30. Everyone's getting leveled. That's great. It's so nice finding Pokemon who are actually on our level now, so we actually get XP from things, not like Team Rocket. No, you made me wipe out. And there we go. So now this puzzle is basically solved. We just gotta go over here, go this way, and as you can see... We made it over here. Certainly easier than the Gen 4 puzzle, because I don't know about you guys, but the Gen 4 Ice Gym, I got stuck on that thing as a kid very long. And my Pokemon? I'm going to heal up Sparta, but overall, we're looking pretty good. I, I think we can just go down and take on the fight. I don't think we need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Now, my number one tip for you when going through this fight is make sure you have something that can take Ice Set attacks. In my case, it's going to be Riptide, because as you can imagine with an Ice Gym, uh, we got ourselves a bit of a frosty time coming up. And I think I'll leave with Sparta. You know what? Why not? Let's do this. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I'm your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. And here we go. Seventh gym, baby. Price, the Master of Ice. See what he did there? He literally has ice in his name. It's like a perfect name. And that is a really cool opening animation. Holy crap, I love that scarf. <laughs> he opens up with his first Pokemon, Seal, level 30 with the following moveset. And Seal over here is nothing too crazy to worry about. It's a little bit on the tanky side, but overall, if you have something to hit it with, you'll be fine. And ironically though, Seal is not actually an Ice type. It is actually a pure Water type until it evolves into Dugon. So this is actually kind of weird that he has this Pokemon. Go for Icy Wind over here. Gonna lower my speed, unfortunately, which is kind of sucks because Persian's whole, like, main appeal is that it's fast as hell. That's okay. I'm gonna Screech back in return, lower its defense. This time it actually hits. Perfect. All right. And with this defense to drop, it should be able to be knocked out, I imagine. And it's gonna go for Rest. Interesting. So in case I haven't explained before, Rest is a move that will fully heal the Pokemon, but it makes it fall asleep for two whole turns. So I can't actually move for two turns, unless it has the move Sleep Talk, which I honestly forget if it does. Let's find out together, because it's going to go for it if it has it. It... Oh, it has Snore instead. Okay. Interesting. 
Storm's move lets you attack while you're asleep, and it only has 50 power, so as you can see, it does absolutely nothing. I don't think Storm's a very good move. Fight once again, and now that its defense has been dropped like crazy, as you can see, Persian is going to start doing some real damage. And this is why I like Persian. That technician boost, along with Screeching, it adds up in damage quite fast. Go for another bite. He can heal all he wants. He can use all the Hyper Potions if he wants. I think he has two in total, but it's not going to save him. Okay, cool. He gives up. And there you go. Seal down. One down, two to go. XP, and next up is going to send in... Oh, he's actually going to send in his Ace right now. Let's see here is Pile of Swine. Okay. Uh, for you, I have myself a Riptide. Now, Pile of Swine here is another one of my favorite Pokemon. This thing is kind of cool looking. This is his Ace, Pile of Swine, coming at level 34. The level here is kind of insane, and he comes with the following moveset. This thing is an Ice Ground type, which makes it a pretty cool typing, but also a pretty scary typing, because uh, it can hurt. As it goes for a hail, okay. Interesting. Go for surf here, hopefully it does enough damage, knock it on two hits. I'm hoping, if not, we're in trouble. It does not, that did absolutely nothing. Holy crap, Pilos One is such a beefy boy. <laughs> so now that hail is gonna be activated here, hail is a weather thing. I don't know why I said weather thing. Hail is a weather that will make it so that you take damage, uh, chip damage from the hail. Until, unless you're an ice type Pokemon. The only type that's immune to hail is ice type. And will also power up other certain moves, which I don't know if he has. He hasn't used it, but if he has the move Blizzard, it will buff that move up. His Mud Bomb gonna lower my accuracy, which means I'm probably gonna miss. Uh huh, that's how it always works. If you get one accuracy jump at all in these games, you'll always freaking miss your move. It happens every single time. So unfortunately, even though my, my plan here was to use freaking uh, Riptide to take care of this Pile Swan, it's not looking too likely it's gonna happen, because I might just die here. And, okay, I barely live. Okay, we get the Surf. I have Torrent Boost because of my ability. Let's see. Is it going to knock it out? It's going to come. Ooh, good job. Nice work, Torrent. Dang, okay. <laughs> That's going to show you. The, the start of the abilities of, like, Blaze, Overgrow, and Torrent, they're not to be underestimated. Even though they don't seem like they're that important, they will add a lot of damage to your attacks. And his final Pokemon over here is Dugon, an actual Ice Slave unlike Seal. And for this one, I'm thinking... Uh, you know what, Gengar? You're new to the team, kinda. You can, you can have some fun here, why not? And this final Pokemon, Dugon, level 32, with the following moveset. Hm, you're quite the trainer. Oh, I thank you, Sir Price. Unfortunately for you, however, you do not have a Gengar like me, which means you are inferior. Die. That did nothing. Go for Aurora Beam, which is a pretty looking move, but not the strongest move. Although, actually, ironically, it actually would two-shot me because of the hail damage afterwards, which is kind of funny. Never mind, actually, I think I'd barely live. But I don't think it's going to live the Shadow Ball. Let's see. Dugon is kind of tanky. Will it kill? Uh, No, it actually doesn't think it's a rest stop. That kind of sucks. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to basically have to take it all over again. Because it's back to full HP. Hail stopped. Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go... You know what? I think I actually live on, like... I want to say I live if I go for Curse, so I'm actually gonna go for Curse. I forgot I had Choice Specs, which means I can only use Shadow Ball. I actually forgot about that. Crap. Okay, uh, in that case, Shadow Ball it is. Now, I don't know if this Dugon has Sleep Talk or if it has Snore like the other one we saw. But I know it has one of the two. It has Sleep Talk. Okay, so Sleep Talk's a move that lets you use any one of his moves at random while it's sleeping. And it uses Ice Shard. Which I don't think is going to hurt that bad. I hope. Right? And did decent chip damage. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball once again. Hopefully it'll actually not get it this time. And last time it was just a low damage roll. Because that happens to Pokemon. Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. Whee! Good job, Gengar. Tons of XP for our trouble. And call it a victory. Hmm. Seems as if my luck has run out. Got tons of money for our trouble. And there we go. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Here we got ourselves our 7th our Gym Badge, the Glacier Badge from Price. Alrighty. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. We get TM07, which I believe is Hail, I want to say. Yep, it contains Hail. 
It sounds a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. A hailstorm damages all types except ice. And just like that, our gym battle is complete. And we got seven gym badges. Can you guys believe it? We already have seven of them. We're getting so close to the end. Even though it took way longer than it should have because of my concussion. But, you know, uh, little details. <laughs> but yeah, seven gym badges out of eight, guys. We're making really good progress here. Only one more to go. Compared to something, we are something else. That was a hot battle that spanned the generations. Okay, I don't, I, I don't mean to... Um, be a, a downbringer, but uh, calm down. It wasn't that crazy. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. And a call from Professor Elm. Interesting. Zachary, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Uh oh. Zachary, do you know anything about it? New Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Has the police not been updating people about Team Rocket? Are we the only ones who know about them? Uh, anyways, uh, let's check out this radio he's been talking about. Maybe something actually is going on. Um, testing, testing, one, two, three. We're the amazing Team Rocket. It's been three years when we've rebuilt the team. And reconstructed. We're proud to announce that we're back. Giovanni, can you hear this? We finally did it. Where could the boss be, I wonder? I wonder if you heard this announcement. Sounds like something fishy's going on in Goldenrod, so we should probably get ourselves over there. Now, something kind of cool if you actually listen to Team Rocket broadcast, you can actually listen to their theme whenever you want. Like this. Kind of cool. Unfortunately, though, this is only for a limited time, because obviously we have to go stop them, so if you like the Team Rocket theme, uh, enjoy it while you can, and listen to the radio. You know, they may be terrorizing people, and, you know, maybe causing some problems in Goldenrod, but it's more important to listen to their super cool theme than going to stop them, you know? Okay, fine, we'll go stop them. But first, we should probably go heal up our Pokemon. Because that was a battle well earned. Now, I know I was saying it before, but I honestly can't believe we already have seven gym badges. I know, like, this LV has been a slow going one because I don't think it's been happening and, like, how crazy of a year it was last year and stuff. And this year. Well, not really this year. This year's been pretty good. The last year was pretty freaking crazy. For me, anyways. And for a lot of people. But to say the fact that we already have seven gym badges already is kind of cool. That being said, though, my rambling aside, nostalgic or not, I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. We got ourselves a fully evolved Gengar, which I honestly kind of want to have out for this outro, so one second here. Uh, da, 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 there we go. We got ourselves a fully evolved Gengar, and we got ourselves our seventh gym badge, making very good progress. And now, apparently, Team Rocket is causing some problems in Goldenrod City. So I think next time we should probably go stop them. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and what do you got to say, Gengar? He has nothing to say. He's a man of few words. What talent he exudes with. Anyways, I'm done rambling. See you guys then.